In our various podcast episodes, interviews, and ebooks, we talk about how to increase doctor referrals to your practice. But what about existing patient referrals? How can we maximize those? In this very podcast, we're going to give you the three effective ways for obtaining more existing patient referrals. Welcome to the Online Marketing for Doctors podcast, the place to grow and scale profitable practices with your show hosts, Huyen Truong and Steve Tate. Hello and welcome to another episode of Online Marketing for Doctors podcast. If you're new to this podcast channel, this channel is all about providing strategies and tactics that you can use to grow your practice fast. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast by hitting that little bell button so you never miss out on a future episode. I'm one of your hosts, Stephen Tate, and my co-host for the intro is Huyen Chung. Back to today's topic, we'd like to walk you through three remarkably easy and highly effective ways to encourage patients to refer family, friends, and colleagues to your practice. The cost for doing this is almost nothing, so your return investment, ROIs, is through the roof. This is the closest things you find to guarantee success with internal marketing. And with a little practice and persistence, it's almost effortless to generate patient referrals. The only tough part is making the commitment and doing it. The first and easiest way to get more referrals is to, well... Ask patients for referrals. Yes, you really do have to ask. That's the slightly obvious but frequently overlooked rule number one of getting more patient referrals. It is possible that you already look too busy to the patient and they aren't thinking that you need referrals. Brochures or signs around the practice are passive helpful as reinforcement tools, but they don't engage or inspire the patient to take action directly. More than half of the doctors we talk to have heard of asking for referrals, but here's the tough part. Many shy away. They're embarrassed, uncomfortable, or afraid they'll look needy. When in reality, most patients would happily refer you and would love to be asked. Consider the patient's perspective. If they're pleased with your professional services, they are grateful, appreciative, and naturally ready to say thanks in return. So ask. Not asking is more than an omission. It's a costly mistake and a golden opportunity lost. Here's how to get beyond the stage fright or other excuses and get into the habit. First up, let the doctor talk. It's best if the doctor does the asking because that's the highest level connecting point for the patient and the most direct channel for appreciation. But if you do think that patients often have the best relationship with staff members, then you can ask them to do it on your behalf. In order to give your staff some motivation, you can host a small competition amongst your staff to see who has managed to get the most patient referrals to your practice. Regardless of who it is, you should also ensure that someone is accountable for tracking the number of referrals requests against the number coming in, as well as other metrics relevant to your practice. Moving right along to the second component of asking for referrals, which is timing is important. Pick a moment when you know the patient is happy and when you've achieved great results, i.e. not when they're in pain from surgery. Ask a checking question or two to make sure that they're up high on the satisfaction curve. You know, like, did we do a good job for you today? Or are you looking forward to showing off those new pearly whites at your sister's wedding? Or maybe it's when the patient themselves volunteers a compliment, like, oh, I'm so glad you took care of that for me. Next, sometimes you just need to script it and rehearse it. Keep it short and sincere. With a little preparation, you won't need a script. But for some of you who either are a little shy or trying it out, it will help you focus on your message. One of the best we've heard is to sincerely say to the individual that you like having them as a patient and that you loved if they send their friends too because you know they'd be great patient as well. 
And finally, make it a habit to look for opportunities to ask for referrals and do so often every day as part of your regular routine. If you have one person or multiple people handling the asking, mark down on a chart who has been asked so that you or your staff only ask each person once. Otherwise, you may look needy. Okay, back to the main topic today and our second effective tip for getting more existing patient referrals is to give patients a one-minute commercial. What is that, you might be asking? Contrary to what you might be thinking, the typical patient knows very little about you and what you do provide in your service. They know that what you did for them, but that's about it. You see and know your big picture. But unless a patient has a need, there's no reason for them to be aware of the full range of services in your practice. So find a way to tell them just a little bit more about the practice and the full services that you offer. Maybe reserve a one minute near the end of each patient visit and present a short informative commercial about ways you help other patients in the practice. Make your message brief, conversational, informal, but focus on something you like to promote. An anecdotal approach is casual and effective. Simply tell a story about how you helped a patient recently and how a procedure or approach you use is successful or that your practice now provides something new that many other patients have requested. Something where tone of the conversation feels more natural and more conversational rather than sales and heavy-handed. Speaking of commercials... Are you looking to increase your authority, reach and engagement to convert more prospects and referrals without spending more of your valuable time? What you need is a marketing system that can run on autopilot and generate revenue 24-7 for your practice. What simple marketing system is this, you might ask? Through our years of promoting practices and running our own successful digital marketing agency, we have discovered the marketing system that you need to make this happen. We've documented all of our knowledge about this wonderful marketing system, our best strategies, tactics, processes, and templates in our soon-to-be-released, highly compact online course called How to Use Webinars to Increase Your Patients and Referrals. Automate your marketing to leverage your time and scale your practice. In this course, we provide you with all of the information and templates you need in an easy-to-follow, step-by-step process so that you can create your own effective webinar marketing system within just a few hours. Once done, this incredible, powerful, set-it-and-forget-it marketing system will run in the background and generate new patient inquiries for your practice automatically. If this interests you, we'd like to invite you to go to this link, onlinemarketingfordoctors.com forward slash webinar dash marketing dash system. Register your interest in this course so that we can send you a notification when the course is launched and ready for you to take advantage of. We hope to see you there. Ah, you love inserting that webinar commercial, don't you? Yes, I do, but mainly just because I'm so excited for it. It will be big and help a lot of practices grow and scale their businesses. Agreed. It's going to be big. But let's get back to the show. I believe we were talking about using a more anecdotal and storied approach as means of providing a commercial to patients for inspiring more patient referrals from them. In podcast number 34, we talked about the importance of using stories to set your practice apart from others and how you can use the storytelling technique across different communication channels, including website content, social media, emails, and even through verbal communications with patients. We left the link to this podcast in the show notes below, so please check it out before leaving the podcast. If you still aren't sure about what a story approach would sound like, here's an example of a, an approach a doctor could use with one of their patients. Oh, and by the way, I'd like to make you aware of something important. Uh, one of my patients dropped into the practice with her son the other day, and upon checkout, I noticed that he was wearing a neck brace. I asked him how he was doing, and she said not very well. Now, it turns out his mother had been coming to our office for years, but she did not know that we not only treated neck pain, but in fact, we have a specialist expertise in that area. I'm 
Telling you this just in case you ever run into someone who is struggling with neck pain problems because if so, chances are we can really help them and we take extra special care of anyone you'd be interested in referring to us. Yeah, I do like the power of storytelling. When done right, it can be very powerful and emotional. Moving on to our third and final tip for today on getting more existing patient referrals, which is to introduce new patient offers. Why new patient offers? Well, the idea behind new patient offers is that you are trying to encourage the prospects to have a taste of your services. And then after they start to get to know and like you, you can then move them further along into your sale funnel by offering your higher value or core services. This same approach can also help with your existing patients to refer their contacts more easily because the patient now has an irresistible offer for them to pass along. We've mentioned in several podcasts the importance of having foot-in-the-door offers for attracting new patients. Specifically, even with our podcast number 20, how to use foot-in-the-door offers to get more patients, and our guide of 20 ideas for foot-in-the-door offers. In that guide specifically, we outlined some general types of foot-in-the-door offers that work for different types of practices and in different markets for both extremely affluent and lower-income prospects that make the engagement process easier. So please check the links to those content pieces in our show notes below. Well, we have come to the end of the, today's podcast. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye for now, but I'm curious and would like to hear from you too. What is your key takeaway from today's episode that you would like to take some time over the next few days to start implementing? Or have you tried a different approach to gaining more patient referrals and it has worked well for you? Our healthcare professional community would love and appreciate your input. And add your comments below or send us an email with your thoughts. Be sure to keep in touch with us so we can continue to bring you the best marketing strategies and tactics to grow and scale your practice. And don't forget to subscribe to our podcast channel so you never miss another one. We've got more great content planned for future shows. You won't want to miss them. We look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Thank you for listening to the Online Marketing for Doctors podcast with Hu Yen Truong and Steve Tate. Be sure to check out the archive section on our website for previous episodes at onlinemarketingfordoctors.com slash podcast. And subscribe to the show so we can catch you at the next episode.